Hi everybody. Okay, I'm not joking you when I say the second I go live or the second I record a video, someone decides to do some DIY, like with a chainsaw. Well, it's probably not a chainsaw, I'm probably exaggerating, but that's what it sounds like. So if you can hear that in the background, I do apologize. I have an amazing one for you today. And I know I say that a lot, but this is really good. This is called the journey to anything you desire and see if anyone can guess what I'm talking about before I say what I'm gonna talk about. I am talking about self-love. When I first started my journey to end binge eating, I never thought that self-love, along with the only one thing that works for binge eating, by the way, so check that out on my page, I didn't think that self-love would be the answer to all of my, quote, problems. So it is. It's the, at the root of everything. So let me ask you this. Do you love yourself unconditionally? It's okay if you don't or if you weren't taught how to love yourself because most of us weren't. And because of that, we've put external validation and achievement as ways to receive love. So we look outside to fill us up with love inside when actually it should be the inside out. So learning how to love ourselves fully and unconditionally opens up our journey to self-healing, whatever you need to heal in your life. So self-love, it's a buzzword. What is self-love? Self-love is actually a verb. It's not something you have or something you get and then you've got it. It's something that you do. Self-love is something that you do. It's a verb, it's a doing word. So it's what we do for ourselves on a daily basis. Positive self-discipline is the highest place for self-love. The foundation of what we believe is possible for us, so our beliefs and limiting beliefs as well, and what we believe about ourselves and what we can achieve how far we can go and how much we're willing to believe in ourselves. When self-love is the foundation of who we are, there's no room for negative self-talk. We embrace our shadow self, we embrace our light, and we make the space for healing and for growth. The process of healing is to come back to the realization that you're actually already whole and complete. And if you don't understand what that means, because I didn't when I first started my journey, is that you are in this moment perfect, whole and complete. And if you don't believe that you are, then you've got like a self-love journey to go on. And I can help you with that. And you cannot grow and you cannot transform if you are hating who you currently are. So it all starts with self-love and it starts with falling in love with the journey. So what does this even mean? You have arrived when arrival is no longer the goal. So once you're able to slow down, not be in a rush all the time, once you've finally gotten to the best part of the journey is the actual journey, is being on the journey with no end goal in sight necessarily, with not being happy when I get X, Y, and Z. It's the process of loving yourself, which is when you've arrived. So here are some things you can ask yourself. Where are you in such a rush to get to? And what is that feeling you are chasing? And why can't you give that feeling to yourself now? And why can't you be proud of the person who you are today? If you struggle with this, ask your inner child why she's clinging to so tightly to getting there, wherever there is, and ask her, why now, in this moment, ask her why now isn't acceptable or good enough. So journal and sit, with, sit and journal with those questions. An example of what your inner child might be saying is, I don't want to be let down. The best version of me would say, don't worry, I won't let you down. It's coming back to yourself all the time. Connecting your inner child to the best version of you, people call it their higher self, their spiritual self, like the best version of who you know you can become, you're just not sure how to get there yet. Connecting your inner child and the best version of you requires space and stillness. 
find things that make you genuinely happy. So here's a few of mine if you haven't got a clue what I'm talking about. Walking in nature, I love to walk. Reading or listening to audio books, I do that all the time. It's just sitting in nature and just watching, listening and just being at one with it because we are also nature, believe it or not. And getting out of my head and into my heart Connecting with my divine feminine and who I really am. Meditation and stillness helps with this, but also dancing and self-pleasure helps with this. So if you sat there wondering what is your inner child, your inner child is a part of your psyche that still retains its innocence, creativity, awe and wonder towards life. Quite literally, your inner child is the child that lives within your psyche. It's important that we stay connected with this inner child because when we're connected to our inner child, we feel excited, invigorated and inspired by life. When we're disconnected, we feel lethargic, bored, unhappy and empty. So by connecting to your inner child and making time, time for the things that make you happy, this increases your confidence and then your confidence then increases your self-worth, which directly impacts on your self-esteem. So your confidence comes from the inside out, not the outside in. And I know it's not just an inspiring Instagram quote, the best wisdom and the best guidance you get comes from yourself. You already know all the answers, by the way, to anything that you need to know in life that's not just intellectual stuff, like how to... I don't know, fix a blender. I don't know where that came from, probably because my blender broke. But you already know all the answers that you need to know deep inside within yourself. And if you don't know the answer, you're not ready to find out yet. That's the truth. So I just talked about self-esteem and self-worth. So what's the difference? What is self-esteem and what is self-worth? Self-esteem is the confidence a person has about their competence and beliefs about their achievements in the world. Like whether you believe in yourself or not, whether you think you can do it, whatever that may be. And self-worth is how you feel about your innermost self, the value that you place on your own life. An easy way to remember this is the distinction is by thinking about self-esteem as the outside you and self-worth as the inside you, your core self, your soul self. So I'm going to share with you four ways to create unconditional self-love for yourself. Number one, give yourself chance to use your time on the hobbies and the things you like to do. Use that time to do the things that you would normally say, I don't have time. Because when you do make the time for yourself to do things that you love, you're saying to yourself and to the universe, I am not a waste of time. I am worth it. I'm worthy of doing the things I love. That's number one. Number two, increase your self-care time. And it's so important to increase your self-care time on self-care practices that don't cost money and they're actually the hardest to give to yourself. So this can look like things, this can be things such as a rest day from the gym um, or what else could it be? Doing something that you think you don't deserve until you've reached X. Like, for example, one of mine always used to be, oh, I'll buy myself some new gym leggings when I've lost X amount of weight. Well, no, do them now. How about just buying yourself some gym leggings now? Like, do the things that money doesn't really... Okay, I did give an example of gym leggings, but do something like a rest day from the gym. Whatever is the hardest thing to give to yourself in the form of self-care, do that. Number three, cultivate positive self-discipline. And I've underlined in my blog the word positive because this is keeping the promises that you make to yourself. Positive self-discipline is a skill to practice. Discipline around food, as in the food that you're telling yourself you're not allowed to eat, does not come under the positive self-discipline umbrella. However, promising yourself you will eat more vegetables and more whole foods does come under the positive discipline umbrella, for example, because you're adding nourishment in, you're not taking something away. 
It can be something as simple as like, I have promised myself I'm going to have a cold shower at the end of my normal shower for just at least 30 seconds because it's so good for you in so many ways and it makes me feel alive. Um, and that's a promise to myself. That's self-discipline. That's something that I do every day. So number four is connect and heal your inner child through meditation, journaling, and self-exploration. Ask yourself, what do you get to unlearn? What is your inner child asking you to rebel against? What acknowledgement does your inner child need? So again, your inner child, it's that part of the psyche who has excitement for life, who wants to just have fun and wants to just be and not do all the adult stuff and that is when we're just in our own head we can't connect with our bodies anymore so if this resonated with you please share i'd love to know if you're going to try any of the four practices or whether you already do the four practices i'd absolutely love to know and if you would like personalized one-to-one help with your self-love journey because i know how difficult it can be I had, I had a coach going through my self-love journey because I didn't even know I needed self-love. That's the thing. I wanted to stop binge eating, which I did through the only thing that worked through binge eating. And the main thing is allowance and self-love. And then that combined together was a path to my transformation. So I want to share this with you guys. So I offer a free, free coaching call to you and that's whether you want to work with me or not we can discuss what's going on for you i can give you tips and help you straight away whether you choose to work with me or not because i'm in this to help you so if you would love to take advantage of that then just give me a shout victoriakleinsman.com i'll put the links to the show notes on the episodes anyway and have a beautiful day and i love you all